Hey guys, it's me Daniel with OCG, the one children's charity that you wish your own child should be part of too. Guys, today I want to talk to you about one of our unique and amazing projects that I was telling you about the other day. And this is about planting trees. Huh? Isn't it amazing? Planting trees with the children. And now, of course, you're going to say, oh, wow. You know, because you want to be nice. And you can say, wow, that's amazing, Daniel. Um, I mean, yeah, you hooked us. Yeah, we're here with you. Definitely. 100%. Uh, where's the unique part? Everyone plants trees. And yeah, I'm going to give you that. It's true. Everyone plants trees. I mean, not everyone. A lot of people are planting trees these days. And before I'm going to give you this part where I'll explain to you why our idea, why our project is so unique and so amazing, allow me to please give a shout out to this amazing Indian mystic guru named Sadhguru. I mean, look, if you've never watched his videos, his talks, okay, just pause this video and look him up, okay, look Sadhguru up. Uh, I'll wait for you here until you watch a few of his videos, yeah? Hopefully, hopefully it's not going to be more than a month, yeah? Please. Because I'm telling you, man, once you start watching one of his videos, his, his talks, you just cannot have enough. Honestly, I promise. He's amazing. But the reason I want to give him a shout out is not because he's an amazing person, but because in this case, he is also planning to plant with his um, foundation, Isha Foundation, over a billion trees. How amazing is that? Yeah? So that's why I say, please go and watch Sadhguru. I'm going to uh, put in the description his name in case you didn't get it from um, from me. Um, you didn't, you don't understand how to spell it and stuff. Uh, but then, look, like I said, I hope that one day I'll be able to meet you, Sadhguru, and have this chance to sit together so you can tell me all about your amazing life, philo life philosophies. Oh, I'm sorry, not all of them. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. Man, not all of them. <laughs> seriously, Sadhguru, seriously. We might be there for months. Um, I know you would love it, but I'm busy. I'm busy, okay? I have amazing projects. And I believe that even you could be impressed with this amazing idea about planting trees. So let me tell you why this idea is incredibly amazing. Now, first of all, we thought since everyone is planting trees, let's come up with something special for our children to truly enjoy and truly be proud of their achievement for not just for a day at the planting event, but to be proud of their achievement for years to come. So what we thought, we thought, okay, we're going to find some spots, yeah, some amazing spots, like, for example, um, on the moors here next to Plymouth, UK, we have a national park. And unfortunately, this national park is almost bold, okay? I've been there a few times with the course, the environmental uh, science course that I've done with Plymouth University. And I'm telling you, it's almost bold, completely. And uh, we've been told that all this entire area, 400 years ago, were trees everywhere, 
like millions and millions, hundreds of millions of trees. Now, obviously with our development and, you know, timber needs and uh, all that, they're gone. So we thought we should try to find someone who can give us the permission to plant trees there. But how? How? See, this is the part where I believe if I can get you to transfer your mind into mine and see the vision that I have, the pictures, I feel like I truly gonna, I'm going to hook you here in our amazing little charity. And hopefully together we'll get to grow it to become one of the biggest in the UK and the most known in the whole world. So, okay, I thought, how can I do this amazing planting in a way that it will be, it will catch on, it will be amazing for the children. So I thought, we're going to plant trees in word formations, like, for example, I found a spot on one of the hills uh, um, next to the motorway. It's quite empty. And I thought, if I can plant trees there and say, children of Devon love planet Earth with trees, with fruit trees, yeah? For example, we're going to have letter C planted with apple trees, yeah? Or we can have, oh well, next we can have the letter H planted with pear trees or cherry trees. The idea is to have each letter planted with one different type of fruit trees so we can have different type of flower colors, yeah, in the spring. So it will be easier for everyone to spot them and read what that says, yeah. And that's not all. And this is where, where the, the most amazing part comes, where I was telling you that we want to hook up children to make them enjoy this truly and um, remember this for years to come. So we're going to have handmade fences made by the children, made of single-use plastic with the help of our of their parents, of course us. Uh, we're gonna surround this tree formation with handmade fence and turn it into a children's park. Where we're gonna have handmade swings, handmade seesaws, handmade benches, and even some art sculptures. Okay? Therefore we're gonna turn this into an amazing children's park. And every time we take our children there and we are going to encourage them to go there not just once a year or one time at the planting event but we're going to encourage them to go there as often as possible so they can plant trees and then water them if needed or even talk to them until they grow. Yeah? Because we all know how, what an influence this positive talk has with any plants, yeah? And then we can have the children make these fences, benches and swings and have them put their names in this, um, on this, on this plastic, single-use plastic um, uh, fences and stuff so they can find their names year for years to come and be proud of their achievement and maybe even take their children back there to show them how amazing um, everything is and uh, their contribution and how proud they are to be part of that. And then, because I'm not finished just yet, <laughs> then we're going to have um, imagine in the spring when we take our children there 
with a little bit of a breeze just like now which hopefully is not too bad to ruin this video imagine that snow like effect from all those petals falling on top of us yeah that's going to be amazing that's going to be that's going to make it into a serene moment which i'm absolutely looking forward to i'm and i'm sure that if you can picture what i'm picturing now then you are too then then imagine taking our children in these parks in the autumn where we can allow the children to play and then we can pick this 100% organic fruit obviously hiding them from the children whilst cleaning the the worms because <laughs> uh, we all know they're not gonna eat it otherwise but when they'll understand how amazing those fruits are how nutritious and that's why those worms those bugs choose them prefer them then hopefully they'll, they'll they'll go over that as well and it's gonna make this experience even bigger what do you think isn't that amazing i mean come on it should be one of the most unique experiences that we had and going uh, dri driving on the motorway being able to see those parks from far away reading those amazing words I mean I'm sure even mother nature will appreciate this amazing gesture and I'm not talking about mother nature reading what that means but mother nature can actually read the love that we are going to put into planting those trees and the spirit the, the common goal that we're gonna go and use there and fulfill those amazing experiences mother nature will feel that i'm absolutely sure and that's why I believe that if I got you interested, if I got you hooked up as much as I am in this project, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share these beautiful little videos with your friends and families because we need as many of you to participate. Because obviously, no matter how much passion I have, no matter how much drive I have, I cannot do it without you. I mean it. Therefore, I'm Daniel with OCG. The one children's charity that you wish your own child should be part of too. I love you. Have a nice evening.